All right, so I'm gonna walk you through now exactly how to run Theriac Domino. So what we wanna do first is go to our programs folder and we want to open up the Theron folder. I mean, they're in files, so if we go down to Theron. Ah, here, Theron. Okay, so it should be in all capital, out all caps. And you go ahead and open that. So here, what we want to do is have a line at here at line 43 that says 0 AL2 SI1 O question mark. And if you, you're going to have a file that has a different line with other um, compositions written. What would, what's best to do is you can just enter you can copy this exactly with a zero here. You can turn this into a one for that other line, and then you can just write it exactly as I have it typed. Oh, and then you put a question mark, and it will deal with the number of oxygens. And I don't. I think yours might say 600, so you can change the temperature to 400 and the pressure to 2,000. And then you can go ahead and save that. And make sure you can save. Save anyway. All right. Open up your terminal. If you're going to write Theriac, you click Enter. This is how you know that your Theriac program is working. Uh, you'll it'll ask you about the database definition. We're going to use this June '92 database. There's one other one, um, but for now, we don't have to worry about it. You click Enter. It's going to say the input file from Theron. This is what we just changed. You should have the temperature 400 and pressure 2000 in the composition. Okay, so then this says define type of calculations. It should be a, uh, by default at no. If it's not, you can type it and press enter. Otherwise, you can go ahead and just press enter. And so now it's computing um, the equilibrium assemblage by minimizing the Gibbs free energy. And what we're going to want to do is make a plot. So the next step is to open up Domino. By typing Domino, you click enter. Asking you again about the database, you can go ahead and click enter. And then it's saying which te what temperature would you like to plot it at. The temperature between um, 200 and 800 works. I'm not sure where your program is going to default to, so if you want to change it, you write TC, two spaces, because it will not work otherwise. 200, two spaces, 800, enter. Same thing with pressure, 2,000 to 10,000 works, but if you don't see those, you can type it in and making sure you keep two spaces in between. Next, the default should be that period. Go ahead and click enter. Next, default should be one. Press enter again. The next program we're going to have to open up is something called Guzzler, so you can Write uh, G U Z Z L E R, enter, and then ask coplot. You say enter. 0 0.2 is fine, and then this range negative 3 to 0 0.020, that's fine. Okay, so you've exited. We just got finished with Guzzler. And to make the actual plot, we type in the command xplot, and then clean, and so it, it's done with xplot. So it's important to see here this working directory. This is the directory that we saved our programs file in. So if we go ahead and go to the programs file, you're going to see that this 
file was just modified today. You can go ahead and open it. And when you do, hmm, the long silicate diagram should be here. I just did it a second ago. Hold on.